I saw how powerful it was to start speaking about it and it's what really brought me back from probably the worst point in my life and in my career. Hi everyone and welcome to the backstage area at the Roundhouse London. We are all here today to support such an incredible cause. James, it's so good to have you part of this. Thank you. Uh, it it's something I'm really passionate about, so it's yeah, it's, it's an honour to be here. Can you tell us a little about when you first started openly speaking about some of the troubles that you're going through? Because, by the way, hats off to you. It was amazing that you you did that. Because that's so it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, I think I saw how powerful it was to start speaking about it, and it's what really brought me back from probably the worst point in my life and in my career. I'd lost my purpose. You know, I love making music. It's all I've ever really wanted to do and that was gone for a minute. I'd self-destructed so I thought there was no way back from that and it turned out that just speaking about it, being honest and open and frank about what was going on in my head, it, it slowly I climbed back to, to where I am today. So, Were you afraid about the stigma that, you know, unfortunately there still is around mental health? Yeah, I think as, as men we definitely feel it's weak to, to say I'm, I'm struggling. Certainly where I come from, like there's a lot of alpha males, like it's a, a, a little town up north where guys are lads are lads you know what I mean and I don't feel comfortable talking about those things but it was the only thing that helped me and I had to do it so I'm just like gonna shout that from the rooftops you know anybody that you know is in the public eye that, that suffers with it to me has a duty and um, you know responsibility to to shed light on the subject and remove the stigma and you know because there's so many people who don't have outlets and don't have a, so a way true. to get rid of that you take time out of each day, obviously you're very busy. Yeah, um, I try, I try. Sometimes it can be really hectic, really busy, you don't get much sleep. I think I had three hours kip in the last two days. So a lot. Finding you look that, great! <laughs> you look good for that. Yeah. Find, finding the time to um, just kind of have a word with yourself and, and be aware of what's going on in your head. Be the watcher of the thoughts that you're having. Very I think it's, re it's really important. Your lyrics and are just so poignant. Is that therapy for you? Exactly, it's therapy. It's the one thing that really focuses my mind. I think being creative is, is, is massive in, in, and plays a key role in, in fighting mental health. So if you can just put your mind to, to something creative or, or something that you're really passionate about, that can be that can be huge. I'm in the middle of making my album, so I'm, I might drop a couple of exclusive songs, especially for this, this event, so I'm excited to do that. How exciting oh, is that going to be? Guys, please put your hands together, everyone backstage in the room for James Arthur. Yeah.